After cycling seven months through Europe by myself, I still didn't have enough of traveling. But as I left seven months before, in June, with only a basic summer equipment, I had to find a warmer destination than Europe for the winter. Africa was then for me the most obvious. That's how I got to travel and meet with Martin. Martin and I met for the first time in Morocco, where our journey that will last seven months started. South of Guelmim, we began our desert crossing. Three weeks through the tough Sahara Desert, facing the wind and the sand, but experiencing the most intense route we've ever cycled. Not everything was easy. When you're two, you need to make compromises, to wait for each other, to take into account each other's needs and weaknesses. But we've been through this and continued together for almost 10,000 kilometers through the vast African continent. Africa has taught me so much. I've met some of the happiest people. People that often don't have much, but that are so inspiring regarding their positivity and their hospitality. Many people have offered us water, food, and a place to sleep without waiting for anything in return. Africa is also the land of an exceptional wildlife. What a feeling to see those wild animals from a bicycle in their natural environment. The road was tough sometimes, maybe because of the sun, the heat, the wind, the rain, the traffic, or the road itself, cycling there was a challenge. But what a joy to discover country after country just by the power of your legs. After seven months in Africa, it was time to fly back home. It was hard to leave this place, but the memories will remain. Even better, a book is born a year later. All the incredible stories I've lived there are inside, and I hope to inspire you and make you travel with me.